really bad for making us like have these Commander? these like Is long ass like intermissions. Okay, I you have go. nothing for me Goodbye, to say. <laughs> Hello, Infinitians, and welcome back to You Have Nothing for Me to Say. What the fuck? Okay, you get no one I can talk to. The sprint looks so dumb in this game. And it's really bad. Look, I won't deny that the graphics and the gameplay of this game are garbage. It's the story that's good, and the other ones, everything else gets better. And like, Including the story. Except for three, it's maybe. It's like the camera. It, that's all it is, is the camera. What do you mean? Just the camera angles are just bad? Yeah. Yeah, it is kinda. I mean, even the animations aren't really that bad, except for the mouths. Those are oh, kinda bad. Oh, where's Joker? He's at the front. He's the captain. Or, not captain, but pilot. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. You'll yeah. learn some things about Joker gradually. Well, like, I, I like how they're like, oh, the captain's like, oh, go tell Joker to dock us in. He's already doing that shit. <laughs> yeah, he's like, yeah, I'm way ahead of you, man. I'm not dumb. I'm not dumb. I like Joker. Yeah, he's not bad. I like most of the characters in this game. Even the ones I hate, I still kind of like, just because, like, I respect that they're good characters. <laughs> I mean, the game's not bad so far. Yeah. I like it. With the exceptions of the controls. Yeah, I do like it. The Ascension, flagship of the Citadel. But I also do Plus like PUBG. Sizes and everything. PUBG's, PUBG's cool. Touchy, PUBG's just cool. Just saying, you need I haven't played it yet. Too. I did, tell, I did tell you, like, first game I played, I got top four. Its main yeah. Could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. And then... Did you awesome. play it just after Christmas? I just got it on Christmas. There was probably a lot of noobs. <laughs> no, some people were playing it at home. Like, really extra, smart. Extra mm. Except one person, my first kill, I was in a dune buggy. And so, I got into it. I see this guy thrown down in a field. <laughs> I'm like, I have to play that sometime in your place. Yeah, it's on my Xbox. Except I've never played that, but it looks good. I have two controllers. I've been told it's great. I got, I got an extra controller for some stuff. I think it's split screen on the end. Welcome to the Citadel, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> Actually, I could probably bring it. This is an outrage! Over the Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. Isn't that Seven? your favorite you race? Ignore the middle one? Spectre, I demand no, that's Nathan's you don't get to make Nathan loves the Asari. Citadel security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings I think only one of them is in this entire not game. Before. But their entire race is in one of the later games. So Captain, it's not like they're Captain just... Captain. I see you've brought and it's not really Andromeda. because of the just the ground team from Eden Prime. They're mentioned in Andromeda. That's it. <laughs> I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate. they're only mentioned in Andromeda. They, uh, they show up in two Sounds and three. Like the the Actually, I don't know if they show up in two, but they definitely show up in three. But the the thing is though that um, it's not they that I like it's not the the race of alien that I appreciate. It's a particular oh. character who just is a great character. Yeah, if you wait long enough, Aaron's a threat to every human colony out there. If they don't stop him, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Mm hmm? Yeah, Odina's kind of a dick. Quite the lake. Excuse me. I wonder if anyone Aww. ever drowned in it. Hmm? I'm eating popcorn. <laughs> that's what I was trying to do during the. That's probably what I'll try to do during the cutscenes. Cut yeah. This place is a little too so I can eat some. Hiding mm -hmm. So, I will, um. 
bring up the walkthrough if I have to, but I think you probably got what you're supposed to do. Yeah, I'm supposed to go. Yeah. The game does not do a great job of explaining what you're supposed to do. Greetings and welcome to the Presidium. My name is, is Alina, and I am pleased uh, to be your Android virtual guide AI. throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. Are you real? <laughs> so are you a person or a program? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence. Program to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the citadel. That's spike. I may right also there. be contacted through yeah. any of the Well, you'll see a lot of spikes because whenever we talk, it goes up. Oh, yeah. We don't talk all that much because there's so much audio in the game. I'll pass. <laughs> no thanks. I apologize if you found my service unsatisfactory. Please submit any complaints in writing to the Citadel Tourist. Don't care, don't care. Fuck <laughs> off. Where is it? Financial district. That's financial district. God damn it! God damn it! Oh wait, wait. Is the sprint button the same as the talk button? Yes. Oh my god, I didn't know that. That's a real pain. Rapid transit. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's a. And when you want to talk to people, it's a. If you <laughs> want to look at a sign, it's a. That's actually really funny. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Oof. He's having a bad day. Yeah. Commander Shepard, Garrus McCary. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Who were you just talking to? That was Executor Pam, head of Citadel Security, my boss. He'll be presenting my findings on Saren to the Council. Come across anything I should know about? Saren's a specter. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shaq. Maybe they'll listen to you. <laughs> Maybe they'll listen to you. Uh, Considering yeah. they're not listening to one of their own, uh, I doubt it. Yeah, let's be honest. But Shepard was there. The I like see. You. That's the fast travel. You're already where you want to be, though. Don't worry, you'll have started. plenty Come of time on. to explore this citadel in the future. I don't care because it's gonna make you. <laughs> Geth attack is a matter of some concern, it's annoying. but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow specter and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. You're the one who destroyed the beacon, then you tried to cover it up. Shift the blame and cover your own failures. Just like Captain Anderson. He's talking you well. But what can you expect I'm gonna murder from you. a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. <laughs> humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. Saren's hiding behind his position as a specter. You need to open your eyes. What we need is evidence. So far, we've seen nothing. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. 
Oof. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. Oof. <laughs> He's like... The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied by... I'm glad to see justice was served. Fuck you. This meeting is adjourned. Fuck Saren. Mm -hmm. Like in general. No. Not literally. <laughs> Just in general. Yeah, in general. Like, fuck him. Was a mistake bringing you into that game. You and Saren have too much history. It made the council question our motive. Welcome to Popcorn ASMR. He's written with the get for one reason to exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. <laughs> Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth is in sight. Look at the disgusting <laughs> waveform of that. <laughs> Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? Like how the so I'm arguing with you exactly. That's Mainly because right. they're dead. He was asking for more time to finish his report. <laughs> Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with him. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. I'll take care of it. I don't care about I need Captain. to take care of some business. Fuck Captain, Captain, meet me in my office later. <laughs> oh, you don't like Captain Anderson? Mm-mm. He's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Balavan's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way, innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience, no hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Beep beep. 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 <laughs> if that was a heartbeat, we are dead. Good luck, sir. I'll be over in the ambassador's Beep. office if you need anything else. Yeah. All right, so you got three leads. There's a cop who's investigating Saren. There's someone in the financial district, and there's someone in a bar. Mm -hmm. I was paying attention because I know that if you don't, you get really fucking lost in this game. I understood most of it. Yeah. Like, I knew there was a guy at the bar, and then financial mm -hmm. district. So the wards is probably where the bar is. Uh, Financial's probably in the Presidium, yeah. I'm guessing. Um, oh, maybe not. Embassies. That's where we landed. Yeah, and that's that was pretty close to the financial district. You can oh, walk there. In, it's, like, right here. Yeah, you can walk right there. I'll go visit this one, and then God I'll... damn it. What? Just the running animation, I'm sorry. I wish it... <laughs> it's so, like, overly that, that's intense. That's the point... That's the... the, the, the uh, it's kind of cool when you're in combat, but it's so pointless like this. Mm -hmm. It's just excessively intense to look at. Rapid transit. Where are you? Talk to her. Welcome, I am Melina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Oh. Oh. I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you picked up on that, right? We always enjoy yeah. seeing new clients. 
Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with her. No. Oh. <laughs> yes, of course, mistress. I wanted to leave. Damn, I went to the wrong place. <laughs> Did you, though? Yes. Huh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. Maybe She'd she has like information. With you now. What does she want to see me for? I don't know. You'll have to ask her yourself. I just, just, just head my upstairs. Netflix. She'll be waiting what for you. What does she want to see me? Does she have a thing for girls? Does she know I'm gay? <laughs> I can now use that uh, bit of audio out of context. <laughs> Not real life. <laughs> Fucking pervert. It's too late. Pervert. It's too late. I now have that it's audio. Close enough, Commander. Ow. I know. I am now dead. That's okay. Nathan has said worse things. With me? I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Tell me about this problem you're having. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him no, as a fellow to soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. I don't make any promises, but I'll see what I can do. Thank you, I'm not making promises. All I can ask. Yeah. Appeal to his like, why would I help you? Remind him of his position as a general. Yeah, why, why you... If you can convince him to stop oh. spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. Um... Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to Take see Take that me. into consideration real quick. I think I know what she's offering in return. Yeah. Let's go. We all know what. <laughs> Shall we leave? Just go run. <laughs> run far run! away. The intense camera finally makes sense. <laughs> uh, can we put in, uh, can we replay that video but put in the audio for uh, the song Run instead of what was currently there? Run. Actually, I was listening to another song called Born to Run. Mm -hmm. It's actually not that song. Who's it by? Uh, I'll have to look it up. Don't. I could oh. probably figure it out. I am the research Wait, guy right why? now. Why? Oops, you're being attacked. Bruce Springsteen? No. Uh, Alright, doesn't really matter. I like how my person like immediately went to a pistol. Yeah. <laughs> like of all things. Yeah. Oh, well. Like you default to the freaking pistol. I mean, at least the pistol's accurate compared to other things. It is accurate. Uh, that booty, though. <laughs> Congratulations, you're in a strip club slash bar. Let's see, which one is that? That's Harkin. Harkin. Back off, Rex. Biz told us to take you down when you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is Fist's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. <laughs> This story is just beginning. Out of my way, you ones. I have no problem with you. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. Oh. Uh, this is the end of the episode, so stay interesting. <laughs>